Chicago firefighter accused in a road rage shooting on New Year's Eve is now out of jail on electronic monitoring. Omutayo Kasim appeared in court today on attempted murder charges, and there was a confrontation between his lawyer and the victim's family after the hearing. NBC 5's Charlie Wojciechowski with the story. Cook County sheriffs could do little to keep the family of an alleged road rage shooting victim from trying to shout down the attorney for the man police say pulled the trigger. He's supposed to be trained to, to protect people, not kill people. He chased again, someone down and killed them. They had just witnessed a detention hearing where 34-year-old Omotayo Kasim was ordered released on electronic monitoring. He shot my son in the side of the jaw. He, he took the lungs to his own. He chased my son for almost six minutes. A chase that ended here, where the victim's car spun out and Kasim, who has a concealed carry permit, approached it with his handgun drawn. The victim had one hand on the steering wheel and the other hand on the gear shift as the defendant approached. The defendant told the victim to stop moving or he would shoot him. Within a second of that statement, the defendant shot the victim in the jaw. The victim remains at Advocate Medical Center with a bullet lodged in his spine. But today, his family says a breathing tube was removed. They left the courthouse this afternoon to be by his side. But Kasim's attorney says there is more to the story that was not revealed by prosecutors. This individual that's, that's supposedly the victim here is driving down the roadway drunk. Kasim stands charged with attempted murder, aggravated battery, and aggravated discharge of a firearm into a vehicle. His attorney says Kasim was the victim of a drunk driver on New Year's Eve, and he just wanted to get that driver off the road. You take a story, you spin it however you want, and it's out there in the community, and people are being judged before they're ever even going to court, before they ever even go to trial. Kasim's attorney says he will likely remain in custody for at least a couple of days because there's a backup when it comes to electronic monitoring, taking at least three days for people to be assigned a unit before they can go home. At 26th in California, Charlie Wojciechowski, NBC5 News.